Can you tell me what it's like to be normal? I, I transitioned in um, 2000, and, well, January, January 1st, 2002. And my joke is that it's the one New Year's resolution that I did keep ever. Sometimes it's like the subconscious thing where people, I don't, I am always like, do they know, do they know, do they know? But like at the end of the day, it's like, I don't have to explain myself if I don't feel comfortable. But if they are curious and I'm willing to have the conversation, it's just like me being transgender shouldn't affect how I'm providing good service. That's how I feel. I'm just being true to who I am. I'm not like, I'm not trying to convert people or like impose myself. It was a different time. I mean, you know, when, when you see the LGBT, you sort of think of the L and the G and the B a little bit off to the side and then the T hanging by a thread. And, and that's kind of how I felt, and I, and I went to work uh, at the Gay and Lesbian Center as the first trans psychotherapist there, marriage and family therapist, and uh, uh, I felt like I learned a lot, and I felt like they learned a lot and needed to learn a lot at that time. Uh, so it, it was kind of ideal because I got to kind of come along at a time when things really were starting to change because maybe they'd started in the other parts of the community many years earlier. And it wasn't that trans people, however we called them then, weren't part of it, it's just that they were written out a bit. Now I don't think that's as true, but of course there's still a lot of truth in it and there's been you know, disputes between the trans community and, and, and uh, uh, the gay community. Like for me it's been like processes, like I used to wear jeans and like a t-shirt all the time, but then it's like, because I thought that's what I needed to do to be a transgender person yet still passing, but now I'm just like, no, if I want to get my nails done, I'm going to get them done. If I want to wear a dress, I'm going to wear it. And that's like, okay. Like, you know, when I started transition, I was so scared to wear these things to like really allow myself to go there. And now I'm just like, I wake up and I'm like, what am I going to wear today? Like, what am I comfortable in? And I don't know, that's just, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, I wrote a song called What It's Like To Be Normal and, and to me that, that song kind of encapsulates everything about wanting to be part of the, the world at large while recognizing your, your difference and the pride that you take in having gotten to that point. I mean just being trans because that's how I was born, I don't know that I, that I get a specific pride in that but in doing it and hopefully being a good person and accomplishing things that might help other people. You know, like I've felt in the past when I've, when I've lectured or taught, that I'm giving them a vantage point that they don't have. And for the young people, I think, you know, in particular, that can be helpful, you know, how much they're gonna listen and not, but it's more like if you're living it in the room as well, rather than just talking about it. <laughs>